A day marred by tragedy as thousands of people attended a funeral held in Jelazun refugee camp near Ramallah. 20-year-old Ahmed Sabarin was shot and killed by Israeli forces during a raid on the camp on Sunday evening. His family claimed that he was unarmed and fleeing from the army when he was shot directly in the chest and died minutes later. He was sleeping in the house when the Israelis attacked the property. We looked outside and the whole camp was burning. He tried to flee over the rooftops and that's when the Israelis shot him directly. As the family mourned the loss of their son and marched from the graveyard to the camp, I spoke to Abbas Zaki, who is a Fatah member. He said the situation is at crisis point for the Palestinians. As the Israelis continue their hunt for the three missing Israeli teenagers, they've continued to attack innocent civilians in a random way. <laughs> He was a refugee from a simple family, and you can see from here how much he was loved by the entire camp. Israelis are now increasing their attacks against the Palestinians, and they have become crazy with thousands of soldiers deployed in the West Bank. No one knows the truth about the kidnapping, but they continue to attack innocent civilians in a random way. Over 150 Palestinian officials and civilians have been arrested by Israeli forces since Thursday, when three teenage settlers disappeared in the occupied West Bank. During a phone conversation between the president of the Palestinian unity government, Mahmoud Abbas, and the Israeli prime minister, Netanyahu directly blamed Hamas for the kidnapping. Abbas responded by condemning the kidnapping, but stressed that there is so far no evidence that links Hamas to the kidnapping. Hamas has dismissed the allegation as stupid. The sweep of arrests in the West Bank over the previous few days have resulted in the tragic killing of 20-year-old Ahmed Sabarin. And they say now the situation is only set to get worse in the West Bank as Israeli troops continue to raid villages, make arrests and prevent the freedom of movement for Palestinians. Nelburn for Press TV, occupied Jelazun refugee camp Ramallah.